Aloha, Knowles. Welcome to an island edition of the Triple Option. I'm here with my Haole boys. I've got Coach AB, my brother. I've got Kevin Little, my other brother. And today, we're going to be talking about Florida State transfer. King of the Islands, the Pineapple Pistol, the Prince of Poke, King Kamehameha himself, Mackenzie Milton, 2017 National Champion, and the first transfer into Mike Norvell's class for next year, the assumed starting quarterback, and the linchpin of really uh, a pretty pretty spectacular transfer class so far. I'm amped about it. Adam, are you amped about it? Oh, hell yeah, Trey. Fire now it up. If you were, now you are. I got, I got my Hawaiian shirt on, boys. <laughs> Kev, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm super excited about uh, Milton. I think, I think he brings a lot to the team. Ah, good question. Good segue. Almost like we've done this before. <laughs> Kevin. Uh, Kevin, what's one aspect of McKenzie Milton's game that gets you all, all jazzed up about him being a Florida State Seminole next year? Man, I, I just think that he brings a consistency, a reliability, and accuracy to the to the position that y- you haven't really gotten um, in the past few years, and something that Norvell expects out of his quarterback. You know, you look at Brady White at Memphis; he didn't have the strongest arm, uh, but he could he knew the plays, he knew the offense, and he could move the ball down the field. Um, it actually reminds me a lot of uh, the last G- great G five quarterback, um, Kellen Moore, an idol of mine growing up, and really. <laughs> Um, really? And a Kellen Moore fan, you say? You young whippersnapper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the guy knows how to win games. I think 52-3, and three, he's still the winningest quarterback of all time, and I, I think he's going to remain that after the COVID, even after COVID. So, um, Has to I, be. I'm a more, more of a Jared Zabransky guy, but uh, I yeah, like your I mean, choice. Another great one. <laughs> Kellen Moore's a Cowboys def- or offensive coordinator. I can't support him. I'm ah, sorry. that's right. Eagle fly. <laughs> Eagles fly. All right, Mr. 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 Eagle, Mr. A.B., what do you like about uh, Mackenzie Milton? I'm not going to call him KZ because I think that nickname is kind of lame. So yeah, I'm everybody. sorry. Yeah, wait not, it's not creative enough for us. No, it's so lame. All right, so, I mean, for me, today, the name of the, uh, of the game today is space and getting the ball out quickly into space, and that's what he does. I mean, the ball comes out of his hand fast. It comes out to the right places nine times out of ten. But the, the fact that it comes out quickly is something that Florida State's lacked uh, quite a bit here recently um, you know so he can get the ball into space quickly in, in the playmakers hands and that's what I mean that's what they need that's the name of the game today well, that is the name of the game the name of our game is film review and that's what we're just going to bite into like a nice <laughs> like a nice roasted pig a nice piece of kalua pork Howley. let's get into it we're going to look at the 2018 I got a lot <laughs> Trace got my mouth water right now. <laughs> That's right, ready to roll. The 2018 Week Seven game against the Memphis Tigers, Mike Norvell's Memphis Tigers, UCF, and the Rainbow Warriors. They beat Mike Norvell in that game, 31 to 30. Kinsey Milton had a TD, around 300 yards of passing. Let's turn this film on and roast this pig. God, man, I'm really Mike, Mike Norvell special teams. Oh yeah, here we go. I don't think they're too special on this one. He brings it out to the 18. That, well, that's not bad. Come on, short of the 20. Great with that. That's a solid. That's solid special teams, Kev. You're just like just hating. Only cool. negative seven right. yards on that one. Cool stripes. I, I like Memphis's helmets. They're fun. Uh, the UCF Stormtrooper look. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, they look sharp. Kenzie Milton, 5'11", so one inch shorter than you said, Kev, but that's right. nice. Nice. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> All Get right, the ball crushed. out quick there, A.B. Right. He'll get used to that. He'll be used to that. <laughs> That's a little play little play action, though. I mean, you know, look, they're, they're trying to take a deep shot on first down. No, nah, that and was third down, dude. That was oh, third. Was oh, I got to remember. It's the condensed version. Condensed, guys. Condensed. Version. condensed. Listen, Mc, and McKenzie is known for his uh, for his ability to push the ball downfield while not having that big of an arm. So, got to look out for the – oh, he's eating. That's a hungry boy. All right, got to watch out for that. So, not the, ho- not the hardest stuff. Start Not a hot start so yeah. far for the old McKenzie built and highlight guys. It's a condensed game. Okay, you see a good punt. We're, we're gonna see a little bit of Norvell. Battle in the battle in the AAC here, boys. Uh, Was now, that stretch we, or outside zone? No, yeah, well, well, outside zone. Oh man, just Mike Norvell getting the running game. I want you guys to pay attention right. too to Memphis's offense. Things that Milton can do because he's going to be running the offense. This one right here. Yeah, I mean, so here here we go. Like talking about getting the ball out quickly. You know, there's a, a flat route out to the tight end. 
yep. look like a little stick concept. Uh, you know, so those are things that, that you're going to see uh, Mackenzie Milton execute. It's, it's actually the same play, this next play, but he goes backside where he has a one-on-one. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's a, yeah, I'm sure it's determined uh, you got a one-on-one. They're, they're wanting to go there. Oh, there's our boy, Mike. Look at Mike. Ah, oh, kicking a field goal. Mike's favorite field goals, right? Special teams. That's right. Special teams win championships. Ah, but look, McKenzie's ready to go. Oh, that's a completed pass right there from McKenzie. Yeah, a little little jet action there. <laughs> that's a man. We are just 35. we're just highlighting his arm on this yeah, on forty this yard completion over. right there. He gets the ball where it needs to go, people. <laughs> Quick yeah, decision. Authoritative. We Gives we it up. Not pre-screen this. <laughs> yeah, this could be terrible. We don't know. No, no, man. We. Uh, he, uh, but look, he's getting getting we'll everybody lined action. up. Run the tempo, play action. play action again. Yep. That reminds me, his throwing motion looks like Kellen's too. Oh, here Just good, like good, good ball, it's a little high, but from the shoulder. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, a little it, executing a little hand, a little little uh, RPO fake there. If McKenzie's gonna miss, I mean, we say he's accurate, but if he's gonna miss, where does he you normally miss? Does he normally miss high? From yeah. what you guys have seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his little. He throws it like a catcher would throw it, just from the, just quick and from the shoulder, and that's going to leave it high sometimes. Yeah. Well, and you know uh, they work so much on with trying to get the ball. Your base is always it can sometimes be a little off. Mm-hmm. And at a bad base, you're going to get the ball high sometimes. Yeah, he's probably going to understride instead of overstride. Uh-huh. Any and not like I said, we didn't pre-screen this. I didn't pre-screen the question. It's always just a conversation for you. A little rushing touchdown there, though. Any schematic similarities between what? Josh Heupel or Scott Frost did and what Mike Norvell does? I mean, yeah, they're both just modern offenses that are built on a nice balance of run and pass. I think I want I want that running back. Is that Daryl Henderson? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that guy's that guy's pretty good for one we'll sleeve too. Let's we'll see if the Rams can send him and Game Makers back. Yeah, just come on, guys. Just borrow him. Well, Memphis uh, also had that Washington running back. What's that guy's name? Yeah, um, he's he's lighting it up, or he was last I checked. I can't think of his name. Antonio Gibson. All right, so there's a little. Uh, what do you got going on there, Kev? Uh, it looked like maybe maybe a switch route, or maybe just a dig, like a Mills concept. Yeah, I thought it looked like a little dig. Yeah, so it's just a a three level concept. Mm-hmm. So you got. This guy is running a shallow, hopefully drawing up some of these linebackers. Then you have a dig behind him, which is a, basically a 10 and in, and then a deep post behind him. So hopefully you, um, if you're reading the safety, if he comes up on the dig, you throw the post behind him. If he stays back, you throw the dig in front of him. Um, and you're just hoping that, I don't know if this is a play action or not, but either way, you're just hoping that these linebackers don't get in your passing lanes. Do you, do you think these are throws at the – Milton can make. Oh, a hundred percent. This is yeah. this is kind of the bread and butter. And this is so, this is a place that Florida State quarterbacks have been afraid to throw the football right. in, the of, in the middle of the field. And it's you know that's an area you got to attack today. So yeah, honestly, there there is a lot of similarities between him and Brady White. I, I think he's more mobile than Brady White is, or he at least he was. Does does White have a bigger arm though? I wouldn't say so. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't describe his arm as bigger than any anybody's. I think. Well, good. Arm. I knew that. That's why I was asking. Good. <laughs> you didn't fall for my trap. I I think Milton's arm's big enough. I don't. Th- it's not certainly not elite, but um, you know, I, I think he can push it, and I think he can get it to the spots. Oh, as soon as I as soon as I harp oh, on White not being mobile. Look at that athlete. Well, he's playing in the Tiger Dome in front of the in front of the whoop and whoop that trick stadium. So obviously he's whoop he's amped up. That trick stadium. I, I don't wish think you're okay. allowed to say that, man. Well, I there's just Casey. Did. um there's Casey again. Good hand. You Dave, we're not using good that nickname. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh, that's ah. a good, that's a okay. He's having a, I tell you he's having a rough he's having a rough day here. I'm interested to see how he rebounds. Is that our guy again? Is that Hungry Jack? This is not Adam Fuller's defense, by the way. I know people are going to be disappointed to hear that, but Yeah. All right, so, Paul. We another don't have to feel high. bittersweet about any of the yards they get this game. Another another high cat, another high ball there. Yep, it Old was third long. We do promise he is about to heat up. Or yeah, not. I, mean, I haven't seen this one more point. <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing. 
I mean, they do win. Oh, the the Gabriel kid goes for like 200 yards receiving. So, Dylan Gabriel? No, no. <laughs> I was about to Gabriel, say Gabriel Davis or something like that. I don't know the UCF players. Yeah, I me mean, neither do I. So this could be. So this Gosh, is a they're game. gashing them on that we same know, outside zone play. We know that they end up winning this game, mm-hmm. but they're getting bludgeoned right now. McKenzie hasn't looked great. You know, I'm interested to see how he rebounds and how much of it is his arm and how much of it is his leg. Yeah, there it is again outside yep, zone. Yeah, the Holy same play. Crap. They can't handle it. Dude, oh, this makes man. me happy. Once Mike Norvell gets this offense humming with our with some with some of our athletes, Lawrence told Philly right there, boys. Oh yeah, dude, he's, he's got to go to one sleeve. I, I put, he's got to put some weight on, but that outside zone stuff is all total Philly. Uh oh. There's some good yardage for him. All right, here comes here comes a big drive for for Milton. You don't know. Oh, I know. Uh, it's all fourth right. and oh. two, and they missed it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. They are killing it. He's single-handedly killing the triple option. Oh, this is great. I love it. You know what? But he's over there on the sideline. He's just getting the boys all fired up. He's oozing intangible right now. (laughs) 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 Tangible is coming out of his pores. Listen, this is the flow of a football game, guys. You know, Uh, we we got only up to go from here, right? Yeah, that's good. A little UCF defense cheated there because they're getting they're just getting an onslaught from offensive genius Mike Norvell. Ooh, there's a Brady White throw. Another field goal by Mike Norvell. Oh, great call, coach. Great call. Yeah, fourth and eight. You got to kick that one. Oh, okay. Good handshake kick. That's a good kick. I haven't handshake. seen that guy before. Yeah, look at Mike. Look He's at got more gray hair now. Oh, straight play action. Good pass. Oh, uh, I don't know if I'll ever get boys. that much time. That's a dart there, boys. Let's take a look at that. I don't know if we'll get another one like that. All right, so we got we got some sort of play action post. Uh, that I think they see man across the board. This guy's going to be coming. So uh, this play action draws up mm-hmm. these linebackers from underneath. They get the free post, and uh, nothing super special from McKenzie here, but. He makes What'd you think of the placement? Make. What'd you think of the placement? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he put it on him. He put it upfield so he could make a catch and run. That's true. Yeah, hit him in stride. Look at it. Can nice. we look at it? Can we look at it one more time? Yeah. Shout out to Victor's Valiant here, also with the. Yeah, like, thanks, buddy. Nice yeah, don't don't take my uh, my video down, Victor's. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, he fits that in there, though. The other safety's coming across, and you know, it's, a, it's a nice ball, nice ball placement. Yep. And, again, he's got enough velocity on it that he gets it there and, and lets, him, lets him make the catch. That little sidewinder motion. Yeah. That's fun. Is there anything to um, – people talk about throwing a catchable ball. Is that just, is that just uh, flim-flam? Is that just uh, poppycock? Or is there such a thing as uncatchable and catchable balls? I think it more depends on the route that you're throwing sometimes. Shorter yeah. routes, shorter routes. You want to throw a, a, a little bit softer ball to try okay. to let them catch it. That on that, you're just trying to fit that thing in there. I was watching some FSU from two years ago today because I was trying to find a Jawan Williams Oof. clip. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? What do you What do you have cooking, Kevin? No, nah, I, I, I already put it in the Slack, but uh. Oh, okay. For the memes. Yeah, yeah for the I memes. Um, yeah, it's very memeable. Yeah. But. You know, James Blackman would throw that little that little glance RPO about 200 miles per hour, and you're just that not going to complete that pass. That little yeah. slip tunnel. Yeah, little little tunnel screen. We haven't really seen much of that. It's coming. Yeah, I guess just, we don't trust our wide receivers to catch or block. 2021, so. the year of the year of the tunnel. <laughs> Another <laughs> field goal. Oh. oh, all right. Questionable decision by Mike. There, Mike. Boy. Okay, Mike's Mike's game management's gotten better, or he just this year he's cared a lot less because we're so bad. But I don't remember a lot of that. All right, here's more play action by McKenzie. That's oh, actually not a bad pass. Yeah, you got to catch that. Got to catch that. Quick. You got to catch that. He's starting to feel it. I can. The confidence is oozing. I yeah, I want to look at that again. It's a very similar. Let's see. Yeah. Um. So you've got. It's a similar high low. This guy's going to be running this uh kind of twirl route. That's what we used to call it. And then a dig route. You're hoping to pull this guy out and hit, hit underneath the safety, and it's open. And I, I think McKenzie throws a good ball here, but yeah, it's a drop. We 
we we understand that as well. So feel right at home. Yeah, the nice yeah. part. The time the timing's right, which is what you want to see. You know, we we've seen we've seen from FSU quarterbacks that ball be a little bit late, and uh, this you know they get the safety involved that's driving on it. So it's nice to see him get the ball there on time. No, and there's no hesitation to throw the ball into dangerous areas of the field. Oh. It's if he's the open guy, that's where it's going to oh. be. And he oh, knows, no. oh, get Kick out of the way, flipping flapper. Oh, no, not a flapper. Oh, they oh, change things up with a little time uh, to kill <laughs> this guy. This guy's so good. Oh, yes. dude, Mike Norvell knows how to find running backs and coach running backs. Let me tell you. Oh, I like, yeah, yeah. You, oh, uh, does this look, <laughs> does this look familiar? Because this play was run a lot this year. It did look like that, but yeah. Oh, here's yeah, an outside well, sometimes, zone. Sometimes it did. Okay. Dude, it how, oh, Memphis, my God, dude. How game? did you see effort in this game? <laughs> when you can run the ball like that, it well, makes life so easy. Uh, Memphis doesn't score again. That's how. Mm. So we'll have to see what, what uh, UCF did to shut him uh, down. A little right, mobility. So, a little mobility. Is that, is that oh. still there for him? Is that still part of his game? That's a great question. That's but that wasn't speed. Question. That wasn't something that I'm no, terribly wasn't. worried about. No, that was pocket awareness. I, he's, he's very bouncy back there. Third and 19, though, making a big throw. But look at that. Another I love one. this. Another this dart. Is, streaky, this is just, right? It looks like Memphis is running zone, and he anticipates his receiver getting behind the zone defenders, and he throws that on time. That's something looked, where James Blackman or Jordan Travis probably holds on to it another half second and it gets tipped or it, it's an interception because yeah. he they have to wait for him to be open. He also did a nice job of knowing where he was going to go to the ball. Oh. <laughs> oh. He's, an in, he's an NBA jam quarterback, man. Once he starts stringing together a couple of these in a row, I can feel, but you're I seeing can him, feel the you're, charisma. You're seeing him manipulate some defenders here too with his eyes. Oh, yeah, look at that. Looking guys off. Good call. Immediately right off the snap. He's just staring. He's just staring down the wide side of the field here. It's hopefully influencing some safety, some yeah. linebacker action. Yep. So he trusts his receivers. They trust him, and he and he knows where he's going with the ball based on what he's seeing. And this isn't the smartest pass, but it's catchable. Off the off his back foot. I mean, <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. I think he's got a little he's, gunslinger to him. Did that reminds me so much of Kellen Moore? It's crazy. It's exactly the kind of stuff he'd pull. I'm about to throw up. Oh yeah. You never watched him, dude. You never you, did, you don't get Kellen in the sea of blue. You don't get it. Adam. You didn't watch all fifty two victories. You didn't you didn't watch them all. You didn't watch when they beat. I'm probably Colorado losing State some subscribers, me talking so much about Boise State. Yeah, probably you nerd. There's an eleven yard run. It's all right, we're gonna bottle him up. Our gold knight. Oh, that looks familiar. That looks like a Ooh. an FSU Mike Norvell coached offense. Ooh. Missed blocks yeah. on the outside. All right, let's see what let's see what McKenzie's got here. More play Ooh, action, risky. Ooh. Was that Dude, RPO he, or was that play action? He'll fit it know. in, boys. He don't care. Well, it looks like they're they're putting him to one read a lot. I, this is an RPO. Mm -hmm. I can tell because he just looks. You yeah. can see that he's staring or an outside linebacker down. Yep. I'm telling you right now, he puts it in a window. A lot, a lot of blue, a lot of Tiger boys in that area. Like that's 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 a nice throw. That's what you got to do in football today, though. Those yeah, this ears, is. I think um, UCF's offense is very similar to to Memphis's. It's just they're more uh, vertically oriented. Like they're running inside zones. Um, okay, crush. Instead of crush. outside zone. Is that our boy again? No, that that's not snacks. That's somebody else. Another. I like Memphis defensive tackles. Was the end? Holy oh God. no! Oh, <laughs> Oof. that might be that Dorcius. Dorcius kid who's pretty good for them. Dorcius? Yeah, it's Dar like Dorcius. Roman, it's like a Roman gladiator name. <laughs> Come on. What you got for us, Mike? That might have been a pull. Was it a pull? Crushed. Right. Third and twelve. Okay. Yeah, can't be Brady. mad at that. Yeah, almost got it. <laughs> yep. 
Can you guys see the? I cannot see the. What? What? Where? Where are we at in the game right now? Because it's thirty to seventeen. Eight. Third How quarter. How much time's left? Third, third quarter, quarter. About eight, eight minutes left. Okay, he's got time to work. Okay, All right, McKenzie. All right, McKenzie. Oh, yeah, this is a good throw. Cross the field. That is a good throw. Yep. I mean, yeah, he's got enough zip to get it out there. A lot of play action. A lot of these throws off play action. So that's going to translate. That's probably forty yards in the air. It's not a. It's got a little Broke, float to it, but nothing. Yeah, it's got a little float to it, but nothing. I mean, it's not. It's it's going to get the job done in college. Against anybody but Dude, Clemson, I think that'll be all right. I, I love his arm angles. Right. He very, there's a lot of variation there. Look at this. Whoop. Ah, oh, Jake the Snake. Yeah, that's a quarterback you never heard of, Kevin, because he played 10 years before you were, like, even a sperm. <laughs> even What's yeah, his last name? Plumber. Oh, yeah. I know Plumber. You don't know Jake. Panthers. Plumber. Maybe there's what? The Cardinals? What? <laughs> thinking of Steve Berline? No. I you're think thinking Plummer. of Jake Del Ohm. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, you're, you're thinking about of Jake Del Ohm. Oh, 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 my script. Cajun man. Yeah, you oh, don't know man. Jake Plummer. That's because you're a young buck. You can't wear a Hawaiian shirt. You don't know Jake <laughs> I don't Plummer. watch NFL. That's I okay. enjoy Mike Norvell run game. Yeah, it's fun. I knew you would. I knew you would, Adam Brown. So, I mean, you're looking, you know, McKenzie can do peek and boot off of this stuff, assuming he can still run. Which we think he can. I know UCF people have been hyping up how good how good he was as a practice uh, quarterback for them this year. And I will say, shout out to uh, what did I read today from Brendan Sinone? Shout out Knowles two four seven. They're friends of mine. They're friends of mine. They're friends of mine. He said uh, a lot of a lot of good a uh, lot of good uh, scuttlebutt on McKenzie's arm strength because he's just been working solely on the arm. As this guy number four, uh, wow. That was all McKenzie run. right there. They're they're that scared was, of him throwing the ball downfield. You on know fourth what? And one. He must have run checked that, and oh. I think you can give that touchdown to McKenzie Milton as well. I want to see that. What are they? Are they just think, stacking the box here? Yeah, pretty <laughs> no, much. No, I th- I think McKenzie called that that defensive play. So I think you can call that T- TFL for McKenzie as well. I mean, they just they've just gone straight. They've just gone straight. It man was number put, ten that made the tackle. They've gone straight. Man, put eight guys in the box and said, "All right, yep. Brady White, beat us." <laughs> and he's Good not. To, no, he's pathetic. Could you imagine these 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 Memphis skill players with a McKenzie Milton instead of a Brady White? I th- I, I mean I think it would have helped them, but yeah, I think you know, so. White, White was not that good, and I know everybody wanted him to transfer here, and you know, but he's yeah. He, I mean, I would still take the consistency. Yeah, I'm not saying that I wouldn't, but I I would have taken I would have taken uh, Jordan Travis. I would have taken Henderson. Well, yeah. All right, come on. Good fun game. AAC is a fun league to yeah, watch. I'm I've enjoyed. It's gotten a lot better, that's for sure. Oh, AAC is is one of the most com- fun oh, conferences couple, to watch. Couple ball fakes here. Oh, oh crushed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so that's a couple turnovers there. I'm gonna put I'm put that one on high pull. That was a little. That was a little too funky. Yeah, this is Scotty. It's Scotty Frost, isn't it? This still Scott. not 2018, right? 2018. 2018. 2018 was that Hypel? Uh, chubby Hypel. Yeah. Chubby. Yeah. That chubby Hypel. Oh, he just dropped it. I Double mean, it's ball. raining. Oh so. yeah, yeah, it is raining. So I'm not. A, I'm not a Josh Hypel guy for small, a myriad. Small hands. Small. Hands. Small five eleven hands. Oh, does he have little tiny baby hands? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just guessing. <laughs> Ooh. Oh man, Joe no Flacco oh, would have made that mistake. It's a portion of the American Athletic Dude, Conference. They are just contest. up the field. Watching the Cincy game, they were talking about how Cincinnati, uh, all they do is face spread offenses. Oh, how are they going to? How are they stopping Georgia so effectively? And I'm like, you know, they play Navy every year. Like, yeah, right. nobody knows anything, <laughs> especially <laughs> national broadcasters. Especially on this show. <laughs> Look at that hype up! Look at oh, under center. Dude, okay. Everybody's putting the ball on the ground. It must be. Oh, it's but it's popcorn fingers time. Dusty, dusty handies. All right, don't get don't get the ball to, to McKenzie. No, don't you dare! Don't oh, you dare get ugly, the ball to M squared. Oh! <laughs> he Dude, willed just, the he willed the just, ball to him. He is just putting this ball into dangerous places, and he don't care. No, long hair. My high school coaches would get the shotgun out. Oh, my God. Did you see that angle of that pass, guys? (laughs) That is wild. It was an ugly pass, but it worked. Whatever. It was there. It was actually a good decision. I mean, it was the right throw. Speed. This is what you might be missing. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll see if that's there or not. Oh, oh God. Oh, Jesus, God. Oh, yeah, I hope he does. I, oh, I hope he doesn't do that. Brother no, man, it, it just go down at the two that. and we'll hand it off to Tofila. You don't need to be doing <laughs> yeah. that stuff with the old uh, bionic. No, come on, man. We're going to put Corbin and uh, DJ Lundy in the backfield. Well, yeah. Oh, God. So what was his injury exactly? Uh, he blew up his knee. Somebody took a shotgun to it. I mean. I think so, yeah. Every, everything was shredded. Everything. MCL, ACL. Everything. LCL. Everything. So, so it think- wasn't a bone break. It was just a uh, ligament yeah. tears. Everything was shredded. There might have been a bone break, too. I don't know. Every, everything was wrong. Gotcha. Have you ever seen the movie Misery, Kev? Uh, no. Why would I watch Okay. Well, he was, a, he, was, he was James Caan. Okay. I'll take I've your word for it. it. You've never seen never, it? Uh-oh, You're referencing an injury I haven't seen with a movie I haven't seen. Okay. Well, that's just great. Just to, just whatever. You guys are killing <laughs> me sometimes, man. <laughs> Better that's or worse? Good, for those who me. got it. For those who got it. Great nobody, reference. Nobody got it. If you got they it. got it. People have seen that movie. If you've seen that movie, please comment in the in the comment section below. You're going to be you're going to be Again. so surprised how wrong you are. Look uh-huh. at that window he threw that ball into right there. That was actually there like Yeah, I, sure. I would not, not expect sure. it. I'm not sure what the heck was going on. Yeah, he's definitely got a. He's definitely carrying some big Hawaiian pineapples, man. The guy plays with cojones. <laughs> he just kind of fits the ball right where it needs to go, no matter how ugly it is to get there. Well, it it it, 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 it doesn't matter what the type of throw that's required. He'll the funky his arm up to doing it. A completion is a completion. What's great is the ball's on time, and I mean, how how long have we been begging for that? To anticipation. Davis? He's got anticipation. Yeah. He throws it's the ball some- before they break. So it's Jameis, like, just hasn't been here. And with the manipulation, I can't remember the last time we had a quarterback consistently manipulate the defense with their eyes uh, yeah. other than yeah. just reading the one person. That's not something. Attack in the middle, tempo, anticipation, manipulation of the defense. These are not things that the uh, Florida State quarterback has done since, yeah, since 2014. I think we I think might have seen the – oh, here's McKenzie. One more. Give me one. Right. Yeah, he's he's just a little ball player. Yep. Ice the game. He's scrappy. Ice the game, Maui Mac. That's good, dude. I like it. Um, Maui Mac, I like that. And you can tell that UCF is reliant on him to move the ball. They're not just running all, all over Memphis. No, they're really not. That's actually a pretty decent. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's, well, that's just... number. That's not even. That's not McKenzie. That's number eight. It brought somebody I think Florida in, State would have gotten. Everybody ejected for that hit. Uh, oh, almost blocked punt by Mike Norvell. Special teams. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this John up. I think that's about it because that's the end, that's the end of the game right there. I don't. That, that uh oh. Are you sure you don't want to watch the last fifty seconds of this electrifying game? <laughs> I, I bet this was actually a really good game to watch. Oh, yeah. I th- I'm pretty sure I watched it in person. Or not, like, in person, but yeah. at the time. On, on TV. All right. So, my, this is what Mike Norvell, this is what he's dialing up. Hey. That actually looks similar to what McKenzie just did. Yeah, that's – okay. How, how did they not win this? 31-30, you're in field goal. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, the – that man freaking out. <laughs> We've seen enough of this at Florida State. How did you oh, no. I'm getting the cold sweats watching that one, boys. <laughs> oh, Mike had to put the hat on. Oh, I've never seen him in a hat. <laughs> never seen him in a hat. Heartbreaking journalism right here. That's, this is, <laughs> oh, yeah, listen. Somebody else pointed out to me a time where Mr. Norvell was worn a chapeau. All right, first. Oh, where are you going, Brady? Oh, look at that! Oh no! Oh, that spin! But at what cost? (laughs) Why did you throw and catch that? Look at him! Look at he's gonna kill somebody. He's gonna beat the shit out of him with a hat. Oh, Oh. (laughs) he did it! Mackenzie Milton beat Mike Norvell with a hat. He made him put a hat on. All right. Fun times. Okay. Fork in my eyes. All right. So. After watching that, a game that I will tell you we did not pre-screen, but I'm glad we did it because we're not just sunshine, rainbows, unicorns, and pup dogs on this podcast. We want to give you the real nitty-gritty about 
the Florida State Seminoles. So I'm glad we watched that game because it had a little bit of everything. It had struggles. It had bad offensive line play. But it ultimately had a quarterback that persevered and showed some positive characteristics throughout the entire contest. However, while saying that, not a, not a, not a perfect performance. So after watching that, Kevin, uh, then you, Adam, are you more or less encouraged by having McKenzie Milton after watching that game? Played against a good team. I mean, I, I've seen enough of Mc, McKenzie Milton's games that I kind of knew what to expect going into it. I think people want to see the record he had at UCF and the teams they beat and want to think that he's going to be like a first round draft pick or something like that. And he's just not that kind of quarterback. He's going to be a guy uh, that I think hopefully brings you back to uh, a competitive team. He's, he's a guy that lower that raises the floor of the team substantially, but I I don't know what he does to the ceiling necessarily. And I, I think that's what you get with him. He's going to, make good throws, move the ball consistently, get the ball in windows. He'll be fun to watch. He's, he, he's like a backyard football player a, a little bit. Um, but, you know, he, he's not Lamar Jackson. He's not Patrick Mahomes. He's not going to just, like, win the games. Off he's a Kellen will. Moore. He's he, a Kellen Moore. He's a Kellen Moore who won more games in college than either one of those guys. So, <laughs> I like it. Listen, I, I'm all for – a quarterback, the, the anticipation thing, we talked about it multiple times. I really am excited to see a quarterback with anticipation in this offense. Adam, what do you think after watching that? Yeah, I mean, look, you're at a position right now. The, the roster next year is going to be like over two-thirds different than what it was this year. I yeah. Mean, you know, so you're in a position where you're trying to build the floor of what you want to become. Um, you know, you bring in a senior quarterback who's who's won a lot of games and and been there in big games and beaten big time opponents. So, I mean, that right there on itself is, is a great addition, but then you bring in a, a kid who's got talent and, and who could upgrade your quarterback room and just go out there and create competition on the, on the field for you at the most important position. Um, I just think it's, I just think it's something that's key. It's something that they've needed and they've really lacked. Uh, so uh, look, I, if he's not healthy, it is what it is. Um, you know, we, we don't know. We haven't seen him throw and run, you know, post injury. Uh, so, you know, but it is what it is. They needed a guy like this in their, in their quarterback room who could help Chuba and help Jordan and help Tate uh, become better football players and become better, uh, you know, better quarterbacks all around. Um, so, you know, it, it's win-win for me, no matter what you get out of him. And that's true. And all reports are that physically, physically things look good. The, the scouting team reports, everything yeah. like that. I'm interested. It's going to be nice to have, in addition with some of the other guys that came in the transfer portal and the more to come, I'm interested in the McKenzie Milton's going to be the paragon, the example of like what championship level preparation is like, you may have thought that you prepared last year. You may have thought you studied film enough. You may have thought you did enough stuff in the, you know, off hours and practicing with your receivers, but McKenzie Milton knows what it takes to like win big time games, the preparation level needed. So that's something that's going to bleed throughout the entire program. I'm personally, I was very excited when he committed. I didn't watch much UCF in 2018 because their fan base annoyed me to hell after uh, the, the 2017 proclamations, much more annoying than I, than I, than I thought they'd be. Uh, so I didn't watch much 2018 UCF, and I could say after watching that one personally, I'm just as excited as I was before. Yeah. Um, it's good to look at. It's good to look at McKenzie Milton as like a real college football figure, as opposed to the tens of thousands of yards passing and the bajillion touchdowns and the interceptions. It's like no, 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 no. These are the things he does good. These are the things he does not so good, and these are the things he can bring you. So I thought this was a pretty well-rounded look. Uh, a fun look, as always. We are electricity. We are entertainment personified here on the Triple Option. Guys, is there anything you'd like to leave the viewing audience with before I wrap it up like a nice uh, suckling Kalua pig? Go ahead, Kev. Um, no, I'm just – I'm excited for next year. I'm excited to get going. Um, I mean, I, I might take a closer look at him in like an individual video down down the road sometime, but I, I think Teaser. it's – I think – uh, these transfers are really going to make or break Mike Norvell over the next few years. And it's exciting that we got a, a very solid quarterback in. Yeah. College football free agency is here to stay. And uh, we'll see, 
so far the Seminoles have been a big player and I mean that's just where they are as a program they needed to be and you know right now it's looking good uh, you got a big time defensive end out of Georgia uh, look at another defensive a couple other defensive ends that are out there you got a big time quarterback who hopefully can come in uh, Trey I think you're right I mean you're you're looking at a kid who probably isn't an NFL prospect but he's a great college quarterback and that's what they need right now and haven't had one in a while. And I can tell you what, after doing this, this episode got me amped up. My adrenaline's flowing like I just took a just took a big mound of Kona coffee and jammed it into my face. My just my juices are flowing and I had a great time. Now listen, not a lot of film to analyze here. Probably gonna be a couple more recruiting focused heavy episodes of the triple option. We're gonna come to you consistently as possible. In the comment section, let us know if there's some things you'd want to see. Would you like to see a like maybe a transfer portal heavy episodes, analyzing some of those guys like a Jermaine Johnson, a Jarquez McQuillion, any of the other transfers we get? Do you want us to look more at the high school recruits? Do you want us to go back and look at classic Florida State games? We are here to please be our guest in the comment section. Let us know what you like. Uh, you can let us know what you don't like. That's fine, but be nice. Be, be, be nice. You can be critical and be nice. Be constructive. But anyway, that's another episode of the Triple Option, my friends. Uh, subscribe. I tell you this every time. Subscribe to the X's and O's YouTube channel, please. Tell everybody else about it. And we appreciate your support, man. We do it for you guys. We have fun. Yep. I have fun with my boys, but we do it for you guys, and we have a great time. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode, and we will catch you on the next wave. Malaki Miki Maka. I think I said that right. And you did not.